Hi guys, it's uh, Jackie M from Arsenal awesome Malaysian Cuisine with Malaysian Ingredients Made Easy. Now in this particular episode, we are talking about my favorite fruit, which is durian. Malaysians are very, very particular about our durians though, because we feel that Malaysian durians cannot compare with that of the rest of the world. And um, I don't know if many of you realize, but Malaysian durian actually, well, durian actually come in lots of different varieties, right? Just like you've got different types of apples, different types of banana, there are actually different types of durian. And I guess one of the most popular and well-known and well-loved is something called Musang King durian. So keep an eye out for Musang King durian next time you go shopping. Musang King or XO durian, those are Malaysian varieties and they're just absolutely delicious. All right, so how do you eat durian? What do you use it for? You can obviously eat it straight, but I've got some suggestions here, a lot of suggestions from yours truly and also from my chefs in Masters of Malaysian Cuisine on what to do with durian, okay? So um, just bear with me while I go through this list. First of all, you can use it to make durian sauce, otherwise called uh, Sarawa durian. And the way you would do it is you would uh, cook up your durian pulp with some coconut milk and some sugar and then you produce a nice thick sauce and you can then use the sauce for other things as well, right? Now, if you're Australian, you may be familiar with mango and sticky rice. You can do durian and sticky rice and then serve it with this durian sauce to just make it that much more flavorsome and duriany. Now, uh, another way to use your durian sauce is with roti jala, which is Malaysian lacy pancakes. And you can make these lacy pancakes quite easily. If you want the recipe, make sure you sign up at the end and I will send that out to you. Lacy pancakes that can be served either with uh, curries as a savory or they can be served sweet with something like a durian sauce, okay? Um, so you can try that next time and let me know how it turns out. And another way to use durian sauce, also you can serve it with something called kue dada. I grew up knowing it as kue dada, I know in other parts of Malaysia it's known as something else. But what it is, is a thin coconut pandan crepe that's filled with a coconut, shredded coconut and palm sugar uh, filling. Right, And then what you can do, you can either eat it straight, which is lovely, but you can again bling it up by adding some durian sauce with it, okay? Okay, another way to use durian is to make it into fritters. And I've tried a couple of different ways. One way is to mash up the pulp and then mix it up with flour and all that, and then you fry it in, in, in dollops, and that will give you a durian flavored fried fritter. Another way to do it, which is how I prefer it, is to actually to just thicken up the pulp a little bit, make it so that it's uh, a little bit more dense, and then I would dip these uh, spoonfuls of pulp into batter and then deep fry that and that will still produce fritters but when you break it open it will have like this delicious oozy like um, durian inside okay so that's how I really like to eat my uh, jumput jumput durian or durian fritters another way um, with the same pulp that you might have thickened up a bit you can use it as a spring roll filling so just use a spring roll sheet uh, Fill it with some durian filling and then wrap it up like a spring roll and fry it up like a free spring roll and serve it as is or with some ice cream. And again, you can do the same with curry puff as well. So you can, obviously it wouldn't be curry puff if it's got durian in it in view of curry, but um, you know what I mean, all right? So you can make the same pastry curry puff filling, uh, curry puff pastry and fill it up with durian instead and wrap it up and then fry it up or bake it or something like that, right? Another way you can use it is to make kaya, durian kaya. So kaya, if you don't know, is a Malaysian coconut and pandan jam. And then uh, if you wanted to make it duriani, just add some durian pulp in your kaya mixture and cook it up and that will produce a nice aromatic kaya. So why are you actually, by the way, integrating all these durian flavors into your, uh, your dishes? It's, I guess, you know, it helps you stretch your durian budget on one, level, on one level and also it helps introduce durian flavors to people who are just starting out as well, right? So with the durian kaya, you can then use it to make bread and butter pudding, which is obviously a favorite Western dessert. And um, usually you would put some custard in it to, before you bake it. You can make the custard with durian kaya. And again, that will introduce some um, really beautiful durian flavor into your next bread and butter um, pudding dessert. And of course, you can use it to make durian ice cream, one of my favorite ways to eat it. Or even better, in durian smoothie, 
right? Or even better in durian and avocado smoothie, which I really, really love. So again, what you would do with a durian ice cream, mix it up with cream and sugar, and then just make it the way you would make normal ice cream. Durian smoothie, you add some durian pulp into your with ice and milk and sugar and whisk it up and voila that's your durian smoothie and durian avocado smoothie all of that plus avocado zip it in your blender and serve it up it's delicious trust me and also you can use it to make portuguese tarts or uh, chinese egg tarts right so again in the custard add some durian pulp you can mix it up really well or you can leave it lumpy and then use it in your custard tarts um, pastries right and then these are some suggestions i also have some from my chefs at masters malaysian cuisine like i said earlier which is uh, for instance to make durian butter cake you can use it as a filling for a uh, uh, snow skin like moon cake um, you can use it to make cheesecake you know baked durian cheesecake all right so uh, lots more ideas out there for you if you uh, if you want more suggestions on how to use durian and the occasional recipe as well make sure you sign up via the link on the next screen i will see you in my next video